Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create and simulate an Arduino ohm meter using Proteus simulation. Let us see the components required. First of all, we will need a DC input of 5 volts. This acts as a voltage source to provide constant DC power supply of 5 volts. Here you can see I have taken a DC input of 5 volts. The voltage is 5 volts. Uh, in case of real time simulation, you can use the 5 volts from the Arduino pin 5 volt but since I do not have that pin I am using a separate 5 volt DC supply next you are going to need an Arduino Uno R3 it is an open source microcontroller board based on Atmega 328p microcontroller uh, in your case according to your availability you can either use Arduino Nano or Arduino Mega as per your choice this is our Arduino board next uh, we are going to need an LCD display 16 into 2 LCD display which is goes by the name LM016L. It is a LCD display used for embedded applications to display outputs and in this case it will display the unknown resistance. So which is uh, which is what is the experiment. Uh, our simulation is to measure the unknown resistance. This is our LCD display. Next we are going to need a poten potentiometer pot HG. It acts as the unknown resistance whose value can be varied. Here the total value of the potentiometer is 1 kilo ohm. I have taken this as the unknown resistance. And lastly we are going to need a resistor, known resistor like here 220 ohm whose value is known. So using this we will measure the value of this resistance. Next let us see how to measure the value of this resistance. Uh, the resistance meter working is very simple and it can be explained using a simple voltage divider network. Here is the network shown. So as you can see here R1 is the known resistance and R2 is the unknown resistance and let us say that the voltage across R2 the unknown resistance is V out and the supply voltage is V in. In this case our V in is 5 volts. So from the voltage divider network we know that V out is equal to V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. So from this equation we can derive that R2 is equal to V out into R1 divided by V in minus V out. Okay. Now in this way we can calculate the resistance which is unknown. Now let us see the Arduino code. First of all I have included the liquid crystal display library here uh, and I have initialized the pins uh, so that it interfaces with the Arduino. Next I have taken a float value of V out which will give the uh, voltage value across the unknown resistance. R1 the known resistance is taken as 220 ohms, R2 is the unknown resistance. V is the analog value that the Arduino pin uh, Arduino will read and then that value will be converted into voltage scale. So in the setup I have written LCD begin 16,2. This interfaces the Arduino with the LED and begins the LED functions. Next I am displaying ohm meter so, so as to show the what the experiment what the simulation is about next i am in the void loop function i have read the analog value the voltage that is v out across the unknown resistance from this analog pin and then in the next two lines i have converted the value into voltage scale that is in the 5 volt scale okay. next i have using the previous formula we saw uh, some few seconds before I have found out the value of the unknown resistance using that formula. Next uh, I am going to set the cursors in the uh, next line of the LCD and I am going to display the value of the unknown resistance. This function is a, uh, this program is in real time and as you change the value of the resistance using the potentiometer it will show the change in the value showing that it is working accurately and, uh, and it is a real time function. Now I have compiled and let us copy the hex file. and paste it in the Arduino. As you can see, it is displaying ohm meter and at the uh, this time it is giving the resistance, unknown resistance 718.67. Here the resistance value is 72%. So 72% of 1 kilo ohm will be around 720 so this this is pretty accurate as you can see so now if I vary it will change
the resistance will change just as i vary at real time see now at to at 20% value of potentiometer the resistance shown is 200 so as you can see it is uh, it is functioning properly uh, this was a, uh, this was a video on how to create and simulate an arduino based ohmmeter using proteus simulation thank you